All right, this is Miss Christina. Today we're going to read If I Could Drive a Fire Truck. This is the front of the book. This is the back of the book. This is the spine. It holds the book together. Let's go in and find the title page. Here's the title page. If I Could Drive a Fire Truck. Author is Michael Teitelbaum, illustrated by Yuldis Clavins and Jeff Walker. My name is Susan. Today I'm going to visit Grandma with my mom and dad. It's a long drive, but I've got my favorite fire truck to play with. Wee-oo, wee-oo, wee-oo. A real fire truck races past us on its way to an emergency. My dad moves the car out of the way and slows down. Wow, look at that fire truck go. What if I could drive a fire truck? I would start my day in the fire station with all the other firefighters. Clang, 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 clang. The alarm sounds. There's a fire in the, in the house on Chestnut Street. Everyone springs into action. Down the pole I slide. We race to our ladder truck. The ladder can go up to reach high windows. Our truck also carries hoses for the water and axes and, and saws for getting into burning buildings. Some of the firefighters stand on the truck's back bumper. They hold onto handles so they don't fall off. I drive. I speed through the streets with my siren screaming. Wee-oo, wee-oo, wee-oo. The other cars get out of my way. They know I'm racing to fight a fire and every second counts. In a few minutes, we arrive at the fire. The top floor of the house is burning. Flames and smoke pour from the windows. The family who lives there have, has gotten out safely. Now it's time for us to save their home. A police car screeches to a halt. The fire chief's truck is right behind it. Police officers keep the crowd safely away from the fire. The fire chief directs the firefighters as we battle the blaze. Then an ambulance shows up to help any people who might be hurt. I attach one end of my hose to the fire hydrant. Once the hydrant is open, water will rush through the hose. Next, we raise our tall ladder all the way up to the windows on the top floor of the house. I climb up the ladder. When I reach the nozzle at the top, I aim it at the flames. Whoosh! A powerful stream of water pours from the nozzle. Soon the flames are gone, the fire is out, and the building is saved. The family thanks us for saving their homes. Then the fire chief sends us back to the fire station. Good job, firefighters. Here we are at Grandma's house at last. I can't wait to tell her all the brave things I would do if I could drive a fire truck. The end.